Hi everyone, this is Jay and today I'll be upgrading the hard drive on the MacBook Pro 13 inch April 2010 edition. The first thing you'll need is your new hard drive. I'm using a 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM Hitachi Travel Star. You should be seeing the actual item number on your screen. You'll also need a precision screwdriver set. You'll need a mini Phillips screwdriver and the Torx 6 screwdriver. Okay, the first thing you have to do is shut down the computer. Next, you want to unplug it and make sure there are no USBs connected to it. Flip it over. And you want to find a safe spot for the screws you'll be removing. Alright, let's remove the screws. There's the inside of the MacBook Pro 13 and here is the hard drive. I'm just going to turn it around so I can get easier access to it. Alright, the next thing we want to do is get rid of the static electricity in our body. So you can touch anything metal. Apple suggests touching this part of the optical drive. And then we want to remove this black bar up here that's pinning down the hard drive. So let's do that. You can just loosen it. And it pops right off. Next thing you want to do is pull this plastic tab right here and that's the hard drive. Hold it on the Hold it on the side. This black bar is connected to the logic board, so you want to carefully remove that. Okay. Next, we want to get the mounting screws off the side of the hard drive here and that's where our Torx tool comes in handy. There's our new hard drive same size and form factor as the previous one and I'm just gonna be adding the mounting screws on the side here So I'm going to be adding the new hard drive here, carefully. Then I'm going to be adding black bar back.
and if you put away your screws in order like I did then you can just start putting them back Boot up your MacBook Pro to test it. And insert the install DVD. It'll take a few seconds, but it'll read the DVD. You'll come across the screen, just select your language. I'm going to choose English, click next. It's preparing installation. Next it'll say install Mac OS X. What you want to do is go up here to this bar, click utilities, disk utility. Select your new hard drive, minus 500 GB. Hitachi, go to the right and click partition, where it says volume scheme, you want to click there, one partition, name it, I'm going to name mine Macintosh, HD, just like the original hard drive. Format is Mac OS Extended Journal. Size is the maximum size. Click Apply. And a drop down will pop up. Click Partition. Let it partition. Alright, once it says partition complete, you can close this and you'll see the install Mac OS X uh, screen again and this time you can click continue. Agree to the terms of software license agreement where it says select the disk where you want to install. Of course you want to select your new hard drive. Click install. Your computer is not connected to a power source. You want to connect your Mac to the power source. So that the installation does not fail. Okay, once that's done, click continue. And now it's installing. It'll take a, about half an hour. So I'll stop recording for now and go back to this when it's done. After you install the operating system, you'll see this additional information screen and it'll ask you to use the applications install DVD to install to reinstall the iLife applications. Then it'll ask you to restart after you install the operating system, you can then install the applications DVD and your Mac is officially upgraded to the new uh, hard drive. Visit mycortex.com for more videos.